Yo, yo, what's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy, Professor Crypto. Got another hot crypto class for you guys today. This one's on fire. You guys already know. <laughs> Anything we bring on the channel, it's got the heat, got the potential, and it definitely should be watched. This one is on different guys, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Class is now in session. Eureka! This one is called Hold DeFi. Guys, the Hold DeFi platform is is a decentralized non-custodial lending protocol powered by smart contracts that allows everyone to lend and borrow with their crypto assets it is the first decentralized finance protocol to introduce and utilize the new groundbreaking borrowing adjusted mechanism on their website here guys they have a very nice and colorful layout i will start by mentioning that their private sale is live right now guys when you click that link it brings you to this page right here this is how you sign up for their private sale and purchase tokens they ask pretty simple questions like your email address your name your preferred social media id your chosen social media id for instant messaging and if you've read the documents for the project they're also asking questions like how much you want to invest are you willing to invest as a business or as a personal person how can you help the project grow and if you have any extra comments this is a google form guys so it is very secure you don't have to worry the one thing that i will mention about this project guys is that i've been searching for a new 2021 DeFi gem and it seems like i found it with hold DeFi. this new token sale guys i can see some exponential gains happening on exchanges once they list this platform is very popular already guys and we have a lot of people asking questions requesting more information and wanting to be a part of it they have a little video on their website guys i want to play that for you just so we could get a better grasp of what they're all about this is alex this is peter both of them need a loan alex applies for a bank loan he needs credit or uses his car or house as collateral interact with the bank's employee submit a bunch of paperwork and sign some documentation all of this takes one or two months and Alex still doesn't get any loan. But Peter took out his loan by using his computer in a few seconds. How? By using Holdify. Peter has some cryptocurrency, puts them as collateral in the Holdify lending platform, and quickly gets his loan without doing anything. Do you want to be like Peter and get loans instantly? It's dead simple. Join Holdify. Holdify is a decentralized lending platform that uses Ethereum technology and smart contracts, which makes it trustless and transparent. Unlike traditional systems where you should do KYC and need a lot of time to get your loan, there is no KYC in Holdify. You can get your loan instantly, and more importantly, repay it anytime you want with the interest rate calculated in time. It's not done yet. In Holdify, there is a bigger opportunity for holders. If you have crypto and wait for a chance to sell it later and make a potential profit, you can put them on Holdify and get more profit. So prime it up and make your money work for you. Do you wonder what the source of this profit is? It's simple. The profit provides from the borrower's interest and pays to the suppliers. No need to trust a third party. Save your time and get the most yield from your money. So, become a Holdifier. very nice video by the team guys they make it very easy to understand their platform how we can benefit from it how easy it is to get some loans how we only need to give them collateral of our crypto and from there we're able to get what we need no institutions no centralized finance just straight DeFi. on their website here guys they have a market overview which is cool because they show us their total collateral the total supply and total borrows in coordination with the markets as well as the collateral amount of course the highest collateral is wbtc at 42 million when we look at the life that they've had so far some of their history on their roadmap in 2018 guys they acquired the ethereum technology smart contracts and DeFi system they find the problem and prototype idea from there moving into 2019 guys they birthed the whole DeFi original concept after months of brainstorming design and architecture of the whole DeFi main protocol seed fund project operation and 
implementation. In 2020, guys, they launched their testnet security audits integration with Chainlink and complete documents, and they started their private sale. 2021, guys, public sale beta version on mainnet token governance model, adding on Binance Smart Chain and a whole DeFi version too. There's also more to come. Sliding on over to some more information about their protocol, guys. I want to go over how whole DeFi differentiates themselves from other DeFi protocols. They start by explaining, guys, that because they are a lending platform where users can hold their assets and receive interest or borrow tokens, there are two principal roles, the supplier and the borrower. Needless to say, guys, in order to compete with similar platforms and create more motivation, the whole DeFi mechanism determines the interest rate and borrow rate for each market. At the beginning of the platform, guys, the whole DeFi mechanism determines and sets the interest rate. Then every seven days, the admin can increase it by a maximum of 5%. Also, the whole DeFi mechanism has limitations for the max borrow interest rate is 30%. Whole DeFi mechanism can also reduce the interest rate for attracting more borrowers and competing with other platforms. Specifically guys, how they differentiate themselves from other DeFi protocols, the separation of supply and collateral pools, user funds are protected from breaches and hacks, thus whole DeFi is combining the security features of the centralized finance ecosystem with the privacy of decentralized finance. The next thing relates to the borrowers guys. They have a borrowing adjusted mechanism. Borrowing interest rates are calculated automatically based on the market and the competitive conditions, providing lower and more competitive and stable repayment rate. In addition to all of the functions of lending platforms, the whole DeFi system has another function, guys, that allows it to compete with others. According to its interest rates in similar systems, in a whole DeFi, it is possible to increase or decrease the interest rates, as I mentioned above, guys. The name of this function is the promotion rate. This allows to reduce interest rates and attract borrowers and increase interest to attract lenders. What they explain here up in front of us guys is that they say borrowers have to add collateral before borrowing any token. The collateral value should be more than the value of the assets they want to borrow. This collateral is in fact a guarantee that they will repay the borrowed asset. Whole DeFi has provided a different mechanism compared with other DeFi platforms to assure the borrowers and ensure the user's assets based on the Ethereum platform. In this mechanism, Whole DeFi has separated the supply and the collateral pools. In Whole DeFi, the borrower's collateral doesn't receive interest, but he's confident that his collateral is not being used and it's kept in the collateral pool. The backing of each loan, guys, can only be specific collateral asset, but each collateral can be used to borrow several different assets. Each user earns power when depositing collateral, and this power is directly related to the price and the number of deposited collateral and collateral's value to loan rate. If the value of all borrowed assets on one collateral exceeds the collateral power, borrower collateral can be liquidated. The next point, guys, is that they have better liquidity compared to other DeFi protocols. This separation of pools allows withdrawals to be made anytime, unlike other DeFi protocols, in which users have to wait until liquidity becomes available. In the platform similar to Hold DeFi, the borrower can receive interest for his collateral. Still, in Hold DeFi, the borrower doesn't receive interest, but he's confident that his collateral is not being used and it's kept in the collateral pool. In fact, by doing so, without a need for institutional insurance or the centralization institution, Hold DeFi uses a decentralized channel to assure the borrower is able to withdraw his collateral anytime he wants, while in other DeFi platforms, the borrower can only withdraw his collateral when liquidity is available in the platform's liquidity pool. So this is an anytime liquidity system provided better liquidity for users. Deposits and borrowing can be done with the following cryptocurrencies USDC, DAI, USDT, TUSD, BUSD, WBTC, BAT, and others. Again, guys, we see the VTL percentages, the penalties, and the bonuses with these cryptocurrencies. Moving on to their actual token, the Hold DeFi token, HLD. The 
the HLD token, guys, is the last milestone on the way for whole DeFi to become a fully decentralized platform. The HLD token is a governance token providing the following attributes, guys. The first one is protocol governance. The HLD token can be used to govern various components of whole DeFi's platform, including the futures protocol exchange parameters and protocol upgrades via a decentralized autonomous organization structure. Governance decides the burning, revenue sharing, liquidity mining, or other usages by voting on the proposals submitted. Token holders can make decisions on the future of the protocol as well. The portion of the whole DeFi income will undergo a buyback and burn event to accrue value of the HLD token. Liquidity mining. Governance can plan to distribute a specified number of HLD tokens daily weighted by each network participant's liquidity. In fact, liquidity mining in the world of DeFi refers to the process of depositing or lending designated token assets with a minting mechanism to provide liquidity for the product's fund pool and thus obtain an income. This mechanism will increase the users to and interacts with the platform. Cold staking. Cold staking is particularly useful for large stakeholders who want to ensure maximum protection for their funds while supporting the network and get rewards for it. This method removes the tokens from the circulation and event to accrue value for HLD. Revenue sharing. The whole DeFi income will distribute between HLD holders or assign for referral programs or ecosystem growth. Their token is the last milestone to help them become a fully decentralized platform. The token provides voting, burning, and governance attributes to the token holders. The ultimate goal is for whole DeFi protocol to become community driven. Whole DeFi is scheduled for launch on the Binance Smart Chain this year, guys. This can be seen in the roadmap on the homepage, which I showed you already. Binance's support for DeFi projects could have a major impact on HLD tokens price over the next few months, guys. If we take a look at some of their token sale data. So guys, the private sale is gonna be running from the 15th of January to the 20th of March, 2021. Anyone who is interested in participating should fill in the form that I showed you at the beginning of the video, guys. The minimum entry is 20,000 with a price of the token capped at 49 cents USD. Their total token supply, guys, is 100 million. Their initial circulating supply, 15 million, which includes 7 million reserved for ecosystem growth pool, 5 million reserved for their team, 2 million reserved for the public sale, 1 million reserved for their smart drop. Seed fund, guys, 25 cents. Seed fund allocation is 3 million vesting for one year. Private sale token price, as I mentioned, 49 cents. Private sale allocation, 11 million vesting over six months. Public sale token price is gonna be a little over 62 cents, guys. Public sale allocation, 2 million with no lockup period, plus the remaining tokens from the private sale, no lockup. Token type is ERC20, of course, guys. We look at their fund allocation. Funds will be utilized according to the allocations below. 30% for business development, guys. We see that in the pie graph over here. 30% marketing, which is also shown in the orange. 20% technical development over here, guys. 15% partnerships. Yep. 5% legal and audit fees. They also have a very nice colorful graph here on their token release schedule for us to easily access this data. The release times are at the bottom and the percentages are going up vertically. In regards to their public sale, guys, as I'm sure you're very interested in knowing when that's gonna happen to, it's gonna go live on the 31st of March to the 30th of April, 2021. The minimum required investment will be drastically reduced, guys, and will be announced next month. The price of the token will go up to 62 and a half cents as i mentioned already guys in conclusion guys the last thing that i want to say is that they are going to be organizing competitions in their twitter account and another competition in their telegram group more information can be found there guys but they have some really nice rewards up to 500 dollars paid in ethereum 
per participant. Shout out to all my students, guys. I love you. Group hug. Shout out to the Crypto Class Gang. Shout out to the Lambo Gang. Shout out to the Whale Gang. Shout out to the Hotel Gang. Thank you for always your continued support, guys. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like button for me and drop a comment in the comment section below. Please remember, guys, we are an impartial channel, so whether your opinion is negative or positive, we'd be more than happy to hear it. That being said, guys, class is now dismissed. We'll see you in our next video. Professor Crypto out.